Hey everybody, it's Smudger Productions, and since the Christmas season is here, I thought why not an unboxing video. So before we actually get to open the, you know, the lots, um, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to Thomas Resale on Twitter, because he was basically the one that supplied me with this, so if you're watching this video, thanks a lot. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Oh wow, it's just open like that. Okay, so the first item we have here is the Giggling Troublesome Truck. Oh yeah, and all these items, by the way, I specifically bought, so it's not really like that much of a surprise, but it's um, it's whatever, I guess. So we have here the Giggling Troublesome Truck, and I already have another version of these, but I need more Roman stuff, so that's cool. And then, next item is the Dallas car now. I'm not sure why that's on there, but I'll flex that. So I actually got the soda railway repair a few months ago um, for my birthday, along with a few other things. So, and I was just missing the balance cover, so I was like, I might as well get this because then I would have the full soda railway repair. And then next, we have the Sword China clay cars. Now this is really cool because I actually always wanted these items as for a uh, rolling stock, so they're pretty neat. As you can see, we have the uh, stone right there, and I just love how they're actually like molded on. It's actually really cool. And then it says Sword of China Clay from Brendan, and then same thing there, and just the same thing. It's from 2001, so that's kind of cool. So I guess they're both from 2001. Then. Find the wheel. Yes, they are. Okay. This is cool. Oh man, here we go. Splatter and dodge. Oh man, this is so cool. These are like some, two of my favorite TWR items. Like so the Soda Railroad Repair and the... Uh, I can't remember what the other thing was, but just like, this is so cool. I've always wanted these items in my collection. But you know what, it's gonna be nothing compared to the next uh, three items I unbox, so get the full splotch team maybe I'll do a uh, a remake scene on these guys or maybe something else I don't know but they look like they came oh wow so this is from 2003 oh, wow they both are so I guess that these are the uh, the re-release versions oh that's cool that's cool I think they're sold like individually though which is really strange, but yeah, that's actually really cool. They're from 2000, I think, 9 was the, the release? Yeah, I think so. Alright, so you can already see something else in there, but we have a, another troublesome truck. So I'm not going to go into the details about this. I have basically the same one, but I just needed another one. For videos, so yeah. And uh now here's something I was trying to get at for months now. Here's a Neville. This is really cool. He's uh, a little bit uh dirty in some spots. I can like fix him up a little bit. Try and put some paint on him, but Hello. That's his only line of dialogue I remember. Um, yeah, he actually looks really cool. Like, I like his class. The Q, I think it's 1A, or as everyone knows that, as everyone knows that, it's the um, Ugly Duckling, which I actually really like his shape. It's, it's, I think it's really accurate to the TV series. 
and I just think it's like really unique. Like, I'm not sure when this was released, probably in like 2006, because that was around maybe 2005, I'm not sure. Then we got the tenor here, it's kind of like stairs a little bit, that's what I'm getting at from this, but, so yeah, there's another one. Alright, we're coming down to our last two items, I think. Alright, so here, we have an item that I legitimately always wanted, but never had, and I was jealous that everyone else had it. Reneus. <laughs> this is so cool. And uh, this is, I think, 2000? I think it's 2000. Oh, it's 1999, actually. Wow, that's so cool. But yeah, we have here the gowned old engine himself, Reneus. And I just watched that episode a few months ago, so... Sorry, rewatched it, but... Anyways, here's Reneus. He looks so cool. A lot better than the white real Reneus. Which, I was actually going to get him a few months ago, but... Then I decided, no, i just rather wait and get a Reneus that's cheap. But like, since I got Scarloway last year and the uh, new version of Rusty this year, I just thought, you know, why not finish it off with the uh, Reneus? So you got the detailing right there and the nameplate. I always like the boiler being that small. It's actually kind of cool. I would def- if I had another version of this, I would definitely repaint it to a smudger model, but... Yeah, this is very nice to have, so... On to our last item. Alright, so... You guys can already see that we've done a lot of items, but we've still got one more to go. I'm pretty sure you can see in the package, but anyways... Oh, shoot. Here's Boko, and now he's he's in all right condition. I think I can I think I can like fix him up a little bit. Like you can see, obviously some uh, some tape remains there or something, and I can I can definitely try and fix this up. So maybe we'll be in like a next video or something because yeah, he's not really in that good of a condition. I will be honest. Like this may be the roughest model I have, I have in my collection, uh, and that's saying something because I kept I keep my trains in really good condition, but yeah, here's Boko, so actually let me get this side, so I think that is, what is that, British Railways? Yes, it is. The detailing on him is so cool, and I love the little thing in here, I'm not sure what that's called, but anyways, and you got the roof, I think it's pretty cool, I personally prefer the uh, gray roof version, but it's still really cool, and you got the classic face right there, very nice, yeah, I'm definitely gonna fix him up after this uh, unboxing video is over, but, let's see, when was he released? 2003, so this must be a re-release version. I think from like 2004, 2005, I think. Kind of cool. I actually, I'm assuming that this is a re-release because I thought that Boko was only sold until 2001 or 2002 or something along there, but I guess he was re-released, maybe with like Daisy or something. But yeah, that's really cool. So all in all, I can say that this unboxing video was a massive success. Um, and so we got some really cool new items like Boko, Reneus, Splatter Dodge, Neville. And then we got some Rolling Stock, obviously, which is what I needed the most. Which we got the trucks over there and the ballast car. So yeah, this was Smudger Productions saying goodbye and I'll see you in the next video.